Hey there, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to do a really quick overview of making changes to an existing API in the Inform Mongoose application, particularly the Sightline Cloud Suite ERP. Now, in this example, we have an existing API already, say something to query the item master field, but maybe we want to either add or change a field to that. The APIs can be written in anything that you could normally build an API with. In this case, we're going to use C Sharp as an example. Let's take a quick look at the API itself and what it does. I'm going to open the item master in Sightline Cloud Suite. And there I've got my part number, 0298 Ren. So here on this API, it's a little EXE I built. You go ahead, click that part number in, it returns a description, product code, planner code. And if for whatever reason, uh, I have some data that's not correct, it's going to return an error message on this. And, and again, all that is configurable, the error message itself, what it does, things like that. So I'll open up my code file here. And one of the things that we have in this particular case would be our authentication. Because we're getting into the application, we'll have credentials that we can manage in here, which would deal with our permissions. Then we will go down to the part in the code where it calls the IDL, which in this case is our items IDL. And I'll show you how to find that in a minute. We'll have a comma separated list of fields we want, item description, product code, planner code. And after I define them, I'm going to have a little section down here where I return that data set coming back from my API. And now if I want to add or change some of these fields, I will just go in here uh, in my definition, say I want to do my commodity code, and then go down here to my data set output. And for instance, I will copy this and change this to commodity code. And I simply save that, recompile a new DLL, and there I've made my changes. One other thing that we wanna know is how do I actually know what these fields are and what tables they're in, what IDOs. Let's take a quick look at that. We're gonna hop out to the Sightline application again. We will go into design mode with our little paintbrush icon or control E. And let's see what is the IDL or what's the collection of tables that I have here. Uh, if I go my form collections, I can see that's SL items. So I know that's the IDL I'm working with. And now let's say we want to figure out what, uh, what's the drawing number maybe. So we click on that field, we go to data source, and we have drawing NBR. So now we know our IDO and our fields so that we can go back in here in our API builder and just change that to drawing number. And there we go. So Obviously, that was not a full-blown tutorial in designing APIs, but just an example of if you've got a couple to work with, it's not that difficult to go in and change them and be flexible so that as your integration requirements uh, evolve, you can keep up with them without having to do a whole lot of complex work.